This is a real-life lore video made possible by Skillshare, home to 16,000 classes that could teach you a new life skill. The first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. So at some point in their lives, nearly everybody has wanted to dig a hole down to the center of the Earth. The only problem is, nobody ever- The only problem is, nobody ever has actually dug a hole down that far. This leads us to the question that this video is all about. If humanity decided that digging a hole was the number one objective of our species, then how deep down could we actually dig with modern day technology? Let's say that we start somewhere on the Earth's surface and just start digging from there. Not too far down at 1.8 meters and we arrive at the standard grave depth in Western culture, so if you're afraid of zombies, this is how far down they'll be coming from. 4 meters down, and we arrive at the depth that Pharaoh Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered at. A little further at 6 meters below the surface, we've reached the maximum depth that metal detectors can pick up signals from. At 12 meters, we can find the deepest burrows dug by animals, the Nile Crocodile. A little further down at 20 meters, and we arrive at the depth of the Paris Catacombs beneath the city of Paris, a tomb that holds the remains of over 6 million people. Double that distance to 40 meters down, and we can see the deepest swimming pool in the world. If you drained this pool and jumped into it from the top, it would take nearly 3 seconds before you would hit the bottom. 100 meters down is the usual distance that governments bury their nuclear waste at. And just beneath that, at 105.5 meters down, is the deepest metro station in the world, located in Kiev. Moving on to 122 meters down, and we see the deepest known point that a plant's roots have ever reached, a fig tree in South Africa. 220 meters down, and we arrive at the deepest river in the world, the Congo River in Africa. Beyond that, at 240 meters, you can ride through the deepest railway tunnel in the world that connects the Japanese islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. But at 287 meters down, you can drive through the deepest road tunnel in the world in Norway. 305 meters down, and you would still be vulnerable to the B-82 Earth-penetrating nuclear warhead, which can destroy structures up to this depth beneath the surface. Incredibly though, at 392 meters, we arrive at the deepest well and possibly deepest hole ever dug by hand. This is the Woodingdean water well in the UK, and it was dug all the way back in 1862. At 603 meters down, we arrive at something terrifying, the deepest vertical drop inside of a cave. If you were unfortunate enough to be in this cave and fall down this hole, the fall would be higher up than falling from the top of the One World Trade Center in New York, and the fall would take you over 11 seconds before hitting the bottom. Even further down though, at 700 meters, is where the Chilean miners were trapped at for 69 days back in 2010. 970 meters down is the deepest hole ever dug that still has an open sky above it, the Bingham Canyon Open Pit Mine in Utah. This pit is so deep that you could place the tallest building in the entire world in the center and still have over 100 more meters to the surface. Much further down at 1,410 meters though is where the deepest concert ever held happened by the band Agonizer in Finland. 1,642 meters down is the depth of the deepest lake on Earth, Lake Baikal in Russia, and 1,857 meters down is the deepest part of the Grand Canyon. The deepest known cave on Earth is located 2,197 meters beneath the surface in Georgia, but the deepest hole that you could actually fall into goes way deeper than even this. All the way down at 3,132 meters is the bottom of the Moab Katsong mineshaft in South Africa. Taking the elevator takes four and a half minutes to reach the bottom, but if you fell into it from the top, it would take you 25 entire seconds for you to hit the bottom and think about what you've just done. Long enough to receive and miss an entire phone call. Even further down at 3,600 meters is the deepest point that a multicellular organism has been found alive, this freaky looking worm. But human beings themselves have been even deeper than this. 4,000 meters down is the deepest part of the deepest mine on Earth also located in South Africa. The trip from the surface down to the bottom takes over an hour to complete, and the temperature at the bottom can reach a sweltering 66 degrees Celsius. 6,000 meters is the average depth of the oceanic crust beneath the ocean floor. Way down at 8,848 meters is the height of Mount Everest if it were placed underground instead. 10,000 
1,994 meters down is the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean. I already covered the depth of the ocean in another video, but unbelievably, humans have actually dug down significantly deeper than even this. For reference about what's next, 11,887 meters is the average altitude that a commercial airliner flies at. But deeper than that, at 12,262 meters is the depth of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, a project where the Soviet Union attempted to drill all the way through the Earth's crust. They only reached a third of the way there, though, because the temperature at this depth reached 180 degrees Celsius, which was too hot for the drill to continue operating any further. The hole is also only 23 centimeters wide, so luckily you can't accidentally fall into it. If you dropped a quarter down the shaft, though, it would take about 50 seconds before it hit the bottom. Recently, however, this depth has been surpassed by the Z-44 Shavio oil and gas well, which has drilled down to a depth of 12,376 meters. That's the equivalent of stacking 15 Burj Khalifas on top of each other, and currently represents the deepest hole that humanity has ever dug. The crust, however, can extend down to 70,000 meters below the Earth's surface, and the planet's center is located 6,371 kilometers down. If the surface of the Earth is Lisbon, Portugal, and the planet's center is Astana, Kazakhstan, then humanity so far has just ventured this tiny, insignificant distance. A lot of you have asked me before what software I use to create these videos with and how I learned to do it. I mostly use Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop, and I taught myself how to use both of them by watching tutorial videos online. I never went to college for animation, but you can teach yourself almost anything online today, and Skillshare is a perfect place to do that with truly professional and easily understandable classes. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with over 16,000 classes in animation, graphic design, video game design, photography, and many other subjects. You can take classes or even teach classes yourself, and premium memberships begin at around $10 a month for unlimited access to all of their courses. But the first 500 people to sign up with this link will get a two-month free trial. In those next two months, you could easily learn a new skill that could help you start a new business or hobby just like I did with launching this channel. What skill have you been putting off learning recently? And what goal have you been wanting to complete but aren't sure you have the proper skills yet to achieve it? Why shouldn't you start now and sign up to Skillshare using the link below? It's free to try it out, so you have nothing to lose and a potential new life skill to gain. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, then I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel here, and don't forget to hit the bell for updated videos. You can visit my Patreon by clicking here if you'd like to directly support the channel and vote on future video topics, and I hope to see you next Friday for another new video then.